Okay, so we're back again. Finally. For like, I don't know, the fifth time. Our capture card does not want to work today for some reason. Or it's my computer, I don't know. Maybe it's all the porn. It's my choice. <laughs> anyway, here we go again. Let's see here. Oh my yeah. Oh, sexy back? There he is. Okay, let's Yeah. Nice. Um, so, once oh, again. We're going the wrong way. Are we? Yeah. We're supposed to get a cutscene. So, once again, we learned that anyone wearing a mask is a red shirt. This thing right here is a female. This is why girls are pissed. Ah! And dying hurts. It does. Any explanations? Any questions? She in the glory. Yeah, why is she mad? Oh, she's blind. That might be why. Ooh. Life did not turn out what she expected. Maybe your business went under. That degree in liberal arts just did not pan out the way she hoped. Ooh. Oh, crap. I almost got swiped. And one more door. See, this is why we needed Kim. He can open doors. Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! Oh, you just jumped across my screen. Oh crap. I see a cog, I think. Yeah, straight across. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, she opened the door. Just Got it. Hey, it worked out. All those replaying this level like 50 times. <laughs> and I guess you at home are just going to wait for some of our conversations from the podcast that will come eventually. Maybe. Come on. We aboard. Get out of here. By the way, apparently you can't kill your friend, but you can kill yourself. Got her. Yay, she's not dead. What? There you go. I'm supposed to hold it? Got it. Oh, guess what? Did it again? No, it's good. <laughs> you may not know it, but there's someone else here who is giving me the finger. Hi, everybody! We can't go home until we finish the episode. <laughs> Keeble's wife is not impressed. Okay, let's see here. Yay, I'm in charge. Second blondie. Promotion. Alright, so apparently we have leveled up going to the next level. Seriously, how did we get here? <laughs> and for that matter, how did we get here and not get like ambushed? Oh, 
we gotta split up again. Uh, I'll go left. Oh, why do I get the like? Seriously? White guys and minorities? Is that how we do it here? Holy shit! I didn't even notice that. <laughs> like, plus Brad hates you. Right? This doesn't really make any sense. I guess we're doing some team trust exercises. Totally not hoping that you'll catch the next bullet. That's how horror movies work, right? The minorities die first, right? That's generally how it works, yes. Oh, we're wrong as a rat. Kind of the rat's fault for not moving out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's not what I want to. Oh. No, you stay back in there. I don't want you here. Oh crap. Bear's gonna have to like deal with it. Oh, that oh. one kill. Both got killed. What the hell? Yeah, that other one hit kill. I don't get what makes these guys special. I mean, they. They don't look like they have much more armor than the next grunt. But they got a really big gun, so automatically they get like plus 10 to their armor. Oh my god. You gotta gain something for like losing all that speed. Alright, let's try this game. Oh, seriously. <clears throat> Popped my head up for a second and he just like blew it off. Sorry about that. So let's try something a little different. You have any grenades? I'm sure I bet that did not work well. Alright. I think I'm going to try running really, really fast. Yeah, I like that. Oh, this is not an exit. Oh, that's not what I want to see. That's not what I want to see. Oh my god. <sighs> At least it wasn't me that time. We'll fix it. We'll fix this. We'll get this. Alright, so what are your thoughts about like the cutscene here? Do you feel like it's like these enemies, these new ones, are worth a cutscene, especially seeing that we have now seen this cutscene for like four or five times. <laughs> it was cool when we first were introduced to them, but now it's just ridiculous and we can't skip it, right? No, we cannot. Oh my god. But like, it's just that, like, do we feel like, do you feel like these new enemies, like, do we need a new cutscene for every new enemy? Um, I think the first time, yes, but, you know, come on, they need to, uh, let us skip it afterward. Oh, there we go, we got one down. Good. You just have to deal with one. We took down, we took out one of them. Okay, we'll try to think over here. Uh, I don't know what we're doing now. 
we can't go downstairs. Oh, there we go. Took him out? Yeah, he's down. Nice. Baird magically just gets up out of nowhere. Yep. Alright, well, I think you guys need to open a door for us or something. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Hi. Whoa. Ooh, a hole. So you're just chilling up there? Well, I'm downstairs now, but <clears throat> there's a door that's I can't open. Oh, oh geez, fuck! Where the heck did he come from? Hmm? What? Did you just curse? Yeah, and I just say, what the, where the heck did he come from? I was the one who said fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, thank you, Mrs. Censorship. I don't think came out of your mouth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where the hell did it. Oh. What killed you? Uh. You, uh, dragged me along with when, when you activated the cutscene and some. dude who I thought was my ally killed me. Uh, for a second I thought you were going to say that I killed you by dragging you along like in like a Mario game or something like that. Uh, maybe you did. You would. <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, okay, I can't go there. I have to go downstairs. Oh, I didn't need anybody that bad. Hello there, I got you. Thank you. Through that big giant open door. That that's probably what shot. Okay, I see a turret. All right. Um, oh my god, very seriously. Yeah, turret's on you right now. Oh come on! I have my chainsaw out. I'm so sorry. You, you literally chainsaw the crap out of me. Apparently, for some reason, this game his chainsaw beat my chainsaw. <laughs> All the way back. Seriously. For reals? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so... What are your thoughts about how so many games, especially during this era, use, like, the same character just to show, like, say, the shotgun people? Like, no armor, just this gray dude running around with shot, like a shotgun. Do you ever feel, uh, feel like that was like, um, what's the word? Lazy <laughs> character designs? Enemy designs? Um, I definitely feel it was laziness, but also they were probably under pressure to, uh, you know, push this out the door. Because mm. wasn't this a launch title, or at least close to launch? I'm pretty sure it was, actually. I mean, Microsoft needed some big... some big titles. Oh, jeez, this is bad. And he's gone. So, you know, I'll cut them some slack on that, but... I felt like they could've... designed something more... Mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Alright, well, I'm pinned down here. I can't really advance. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, I gotta draw as a fire, okay. Yeah, and then. Okay, he's dead. Alright. Teamwork. 
But actually, I think you're right. I mean, this was a pretty new 360 game. I think this is like my first 360 game. Um, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like a launch, but it was definitely really close. Mm. But you have to admit that seemed to be very common back then. Of like, this character looks like this, so they have this weapon. Um, I feel like you are actually seeing more of like the day of uh, enemies. I mean, they're still pretty much like reused quite often. I mean, look at the Dragon Age series. It's the same character. You put a mustache on it. It's the same character. <laughs> um, but at least they do more of a mix and match process, wouldn't you say? I think so. I, w I would agree with that. Do you feel like that adds more value to like uh, the feeling of the game? Or do you uh, feel like that's just like another gimmick? Another way of not having to create more you know, designed characters? Yeah, sadly, they, uh, sometimes they just don't have any choice, you know, with, with all the ridiculous deadlines that they have to meet, especially if you're not your own company and you have to answer to someone else, like, in this case, Microsoft, who's paying you lots of money, yep. um, you're kind of forced to take shortcuts, which, in the end... You know, we lose because we're not getting that, the full creativeness of the developers. Mm -hmm. Well, what can you do? Not buy the game? Of course, how would you know? But, uh, yeah, exactly. Any cog here? I think there's a cog here. But then again, I think I'd see it if you don't have it. Well, how did you see the other one when you have all 30 of them? Oh, I just got taken out hard. Walked through the door, missile to the face. Good question. It had to be, it had to be, uh, the fact that, you know, you didn't have it. Oh, crap. On your right. Oh, crap. He's literally charging me. Save me. Oh, seriously, what is blowing me up? Okay. That thing? Boomer thing. Yeah, that, that's a... Oh, Jesus. That's a good thing to get blown up by. He's a shotgun. There we go. Seriously, dude, it's running <coughs> around the area. Shooting us with a shotgun. Oh! That was nice. That works. That works, yeah. Kind of, uh... Took his strategy there of just like running up to people and shooting them in the face with shotgun. <laughs> Quite effective. There's a grenade to me. Mm, actually, I have not used my grenades that much. Oh, we got snipers. Down. Snipers down. Oh, and I just like unloaded on coal. You need ammo? I'm good. Oh, okay, grabbing it. Okay, I think that's it for this episode. Check back for next one. Anything to say? Uh...